Hello friends and welcome to Load of Croc. It's hard to believe that we're wrapping up 2020. It's been such an odd year that's like been long but fast. It's crazy. And one of the things that I have found that's kept me somewhat sane during this time has been finding the silver linings in things. And I'm talking about realistic silver linings. So for example, um, my son gets quarantined for two weeks here and there because people will either, you know, test positive in his class or there'll be some type of exposure. And so he's home with us for 14 days while we're trying to work. But do you know what my son loves to do? Sweep the floors. So I let him. Silver lining. Another example would be is that my significant other has pretty rigid rules around we only can watch Christmas vacation on or after Thanksgiving. But because it's been such an odd year, he threw caution to the wind and we got to watch it before Thanksgiving. Silver lining. True. And as it relates to load of crack, restaurants have been closed. We haven't been going out. So I have found myself trying more and more different and new recipes in the crock pot. And I've had an obsession with figuring out how to do something with cinnamon rolls in the crock pot. And I figured it out. And so Today on Load of Crock, we will be making an apple cinnamon coffee cake with cinnamon rolls, silver lining. So friends, if you're still feeling a little bit leery, like maybe a coffee cake with cinnamon rolls in the crock pot isn't a silver lining, try this. Six ingredients only. I mean silver lining. And depending on where you fall in the spectrum of I do or do not keep cinnamon rolls well stocked in my refrigerator, you could potentially have all of these ingredients already in your kitchen. So I mean, if originally just the idea of the cake in the crock pot, the cinnamon cake in the crock pot wasn't a silver lining, hopefully the amount of ingredients is. So sit back, I'm gonna to put together this silver lining coffee cake, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about serving and eating. For this recipe, you'll need cinnamon rolls, two eggs, vanilla, cinnamon, milk, and apple pie filling or any fruit filling of your choice. Grab a cutting board, and your cinnamon rolls and cut them all in to quarters. After you've gotten them all cut up, set them aside, and then in a bowl, combine your two eggs, your vanilla, your milk, and your cinnamon, and then whisk all together until nicely stirred up. Then you'll wanna grab your crock pot, spray the bottom and the sides, use about half of your cut up cinnamon rolls and place over the bottom of the crock pot and then add your apple or whatever fruit filling you choose over the top. Following this, you'll get the remaining of cinnamon rolls that you've cut up and put them over the top of the filling and finally pour over your egg mixture. Friends, as promised, serving and eating tips, even easier than putting this apple cinnamon cake together. There's going to be the little icing packets that come with the cinnamon rolls. Set those aside. You're going to want to serve and eat hot, and you're going to want to serve and eat with the icing. That easy. And for anybody who's not a big apple fan, any type of fruit pie filling will work. So choose what you like best and put it into this cake. That is also another silver lining. On that note, I have a couple of groups that I want to thank. First and foremost, all of you out there that are in frontline roles in the service industry and continuing during this pandemic, you have been steadfast and strong doing what it is you do day in and day out. And we are all incredibly grateful for that. So truly a silver lining. So thank you all for everything you've done and continue to do during this very interesting, odd and trying year of 2020. I also want to thank all of you that are subscribed and watching this Load of Croc channel. Another silver lining for me, I had a personal goal to be at 400 subscribers by the end of the year. And because of all of you, I reached that goal early at the end of October. I am so grateful, so grateful. And this adventure of Load of Croc started off as providing an opportunity for people to have some humor and fun 
learn how to do some things pretty simply and just take a break from reality. And I really hope with this year being what it's been, it truly has done that for some of you. So thank you. And finally, I just want to share one other little silver lining just because I feel like you really want to wrap up this silver lining load of crock. So I've been ordering a lot of things on Amazon. Like it's inappropriate the amount of things that I order. And you might think, well, that's what you do. You order things and that, you know, but I mean, things I don't need, a lot of things that I don't need. And so I was feeling like, okay, that's a, you got to step away from Amazon for a little while. But then I thought, what's the silver lining? And I'm going to tell you, when you get on Amazon and you start like surfing around, I mean, you find things, you don't need them. And then you get them and you're like, ooh. I really think that was a good decision. And so my silver lining of all of the Amazon shopping goes as follows. And why is the carpet all wet, Todd? I don't know, Margot. Happy and safe holidays from Load of Croc. Check out my silver lining, apple cinnamon coffee cake.